What's up guys, we're back here on the channel and we're going to talk about the drivers that are full-time with High Limit, uh, what they have been doing here during this downtime between the two races, uh, the last one being at Golden Isles Speedway uh, for Deuces Wild, that was on February 24th, and what will be the next race, which is next Friday night at Texarkana 67 Speedway in Arkansas. So from February 24th to April 12th, uh, that is the gap uh, between the, the two races that uh, we're talking about here. And that is six weeks of time where we have not had a high limit race. And so the big talking point going into the season was these drivers with high limit, they have that freedom. They have the option. If they want to go race more, they can. If they don't want to race more, then they don't have to. They can go do something else. They can go golf and they can go on the lake. They can go do whatever they want to do and uh, take some time off from racing. And as you'll see from this board, a lot of guys elected to take some time off, but there was some uh, that did have a lot of races under their belt and stayed fresh in the car and, and got some notes dialed in and went to some places that uh, will help them for later on uh, on the high limit calendar. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Before I do that, actually, bottom right corner for you guys, you'll see the key. If the numbers are written in orange, that is a World of Outlaws race. If it's in pink, that is a race in Pennsylvania. And if it's in green, that is a power ice sanctioned event uh, between these drivers. So the busiest driver out of everybody, uh, maybe in the entire country right now, is Jacob Allen. He's ran every high limit race and he's ran every single World of Outlaws race. Now, after Gold Miles, he has ran seven races, all of them coming with the World of Outlaws. That being at Arrowhead, 81, 36, Kennedale Speedway Park, Cotton Bowl, and Volusia. And so Jacob Allen, those seven races resulted in 15th, 6th, 14th, DNQ, DNQ, 25th, and 23rd. So results a little bit all over the board for the most recent winner with high limit. And I would have to say that 23rd, that was uh, last night at Arrowhead. It looked like Jacob Allen was on his way to a potential win and at least a podium run. Unfortunately, got into it with another car and broke the front end. He did have some bad luck at some of those other tracks as well. Uh, but Jacob Allen has been extremely busy, has not taken any weekends off seven races since Golden Isles. Now, the next uh, driver that's been a little bit busy here is Corey Eliason, and for good reason. Eliason, if you don't know, he lost his crew chief there after Gold Miles, that being Tyler Swank. They bring in Jim Shuttlesworth, and so those two needed to get together and, and run some races and build some chemistry, and that is what they did. They even got a victory. So they went to Pennsylvania. They ran third at Williams Grove. They won a race at Baps Motor Speedway. And then they ran sixth in another race at Williams Road. They also ran two races with the Outlaws, one of them being that Bike Week race at Volusia where they ran ninth, and then an 11th place result at US 36 Raceway for Corey Eliason. The next uh, driver on our list is Brett Marks. He ran four races during this time. Probably should have been more, but he had a, a one that winded out. He had another one that rained out. And so Brett Marks probably should have been maybe around the six or seven mark. Uh, but he ends up with four. So he went to Cotton Bowl Speed with the Outlaws. He got a win and a second place finish there. And then he went to Kennedale Speedway Park and got a fifth place run. So three top fives with the Outlaws. And then this weekend, he went with Power Eye and ran at the Texas Motor Speedway and got the win there with the Power Eye Racing 410 Series. Now for Marks, that's big because um, High Limit does go to Texas Motor Speedway here next Saturday night. So that's going to be big. Uh, he's already got notes on the track. And so that could definitely help him in his pursuit of this uh, high limit championship, having some more notes compared to the rest of his uh, his uh, competition here. So Justin Peck, he also ran four races. He ran them all in the state of Pennsylvania. He had a fifth place run at Lincoln, a ninth at Williams Grove, a fifth at Williams Grove, and a ninth at Bass. Now Peck has been quiet here over the last couple of weeks. Most of those races taking place about right after Gold Mile Speedway. And so Justin Peck, has kind of slowed down here as of recent, but he's still got four races under his belt. And not the finishes I was kind of expecting because Peck, him and Tyler Courtney were probably the two best cars uh, leaving Gold Miles, both of them having podium finishes. And Peck, not very good results there in the state of Pennsylvania. Now, Brenham Crouch, him and a lot of other guys ran three races. Crouch ran at Kennedale Speedway Park, was 14th with the Outlaws, ran 81 Speedway, was 16th with the Outlaws, and then ran Texas Motor Speedway with Power Eye, the race that Brent Marks won. Uh, Brenham Crouch finished ninth in that event. Uh, Rico Abreu, he was a little bit busy as well. He got a win with the Outlaws at 81 Speedway. He was 24th at US 36 after getting involved in an incident. And then last night at Arrowhead Speedway, he finished up in the sixth position. Uh, Chris Windham, he's been busy as well. He got his career best World of Outlaws finish at 81 Speedway with a sixth place run. He was 14th at US 36 Raceway. And then last night, he was 14th as well at Arrowhead Speedway. 
Now, Tanner Thorson's the next one on the list, but only one of those three starts is actually a sprint car start. The other two are with the Power Ride Midgets at Port City Raceway. He finished second, and he got a win on the second night down there at Port City. He got a 15th place run here last night at Arrowhead Speedway with the World of Outlaws. So I know those are midget starts, but you still, I mean, being in the car and racing certainly does not hurt at all. So Tanner Thorson trying to stay a little bit uh, sharp here during this downtime, and we'll see him at Texarkana coming up on Friday. Now, next on our list is James McFadden, who has finally made it here to the States. He had a fourth place run in his first start of the season at US 36 Raceway with the Outlaws. And then last night at Arrowhead was on his way to another top five finish when a car crashed into the front stretch wall and landed on top of him and uh, pretty much uh, ruined any shot of a good night there for him. He finished in 19th. Tyler Courtney, who is the current point leader with high limit, he ran US 36 as well, was fifth place there and then ninth at Arrowhead Speedway. So two solid runs there for Sunshine. And then Corey Day, he had two starts as well. Uh, one of them coming with the Outlaws was back at Bike Week at Volusia. He finished seventh in that race. And then he went to Port Royal Speedway and ran a local show there where he finished in 23rd position after winning a heat race. He got into some kind of big wreck at the very beginning, and uh, he was not able to finish that race at Port Royal, but Corey Day with two starts. Spencer Baston only had one start during this downtime. He finished 12th in a race at Williams Grove Speedway. And then Zeb Wise with one race as well. He finished 26 after getting upside down at US 36 with the Outlaws. Now, there's four drivers on this list that did not race a single time during this six-week six break. And probably the biggest one of all of them is Brad Sweet. He did not run a single race in the last six weeks, which is something that he has not done in probably 10 years, uh, not racing a single time in the month of March and Sweet really taking this uh, taking this opportunity to stay home, hang out with family, get things ready on the business side with High Limit for a busy stretch coming up here. Uh, but interesting to see that because uh, a lot of his closest competitors in that championship fight uh, ran quite a few races here during this downtime. Casey Kane did not run any races as well as Connor Morrell and Parker Price Miller. So four guys that are full time with High Limit do not run a single race during the six week break. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll see if Sweet struggles when we come back to Texarkana. We'll see if Jacob Allen or Corey Eliasson or Brett Marsh are the guys to beat down there as they have been staying sharp here during this downtime. So hopefully you guys uh, found this video interesting and you kind of can get caught up to speed as to where all the high limit racing drivers were at here between February 24th and April 12th. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, hit that subscribe button. It is free. Hit the like button, comment down below, and we'll see you back here later on for another video here on the channel. Thank you.